I'm ready again. Okay, I'm going. Okay, so today we're going to do lesson 8.1. Um, it's page 270, and we're going to skip 271 and go straight to 272. So um, the beginning of this is a cracking a number code story, and we're only going to do the first half, so we're not going to really worry about the number code. That's on page 271 for now. But we're going to look at question number one on page 270. The school custodian, Mr. Granger, brought, brought, brought every pencil he found on the floor this week to the school Lost and Found. At the end of the week, there were 126 pencils in the Lost and Found. Mr. Granger said he found three pencils in one classroom and five pencils in each of three other classrooms. He then found an equal number of pencils in each of the nine remaining classrooms. How many pencils did he find in each of those classrooms? So we know he found a total of 126, right? So the total pencil number is equal to 126. And in the first classroom, he found three. And then there were three more classrooms where he found five. So there was a five, a five, and a five. So in those four classrooms, he had a total of 18 pencils. So, in the other nine classrooms, he had this many pencils. We don't know what that is yet. And then we divided those into the nine different classrooms, or that's what we will be doing. So we need to know what number goes here. So because of my family of facts, I know if this plus this equals this, then this minus this equals this. So 126 minus 18, and when I borrow, 16 minus 8 is 8, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 1 falls down. So I know this number here is 108. Okay? So Mr. Granger found 108 pencils total out of the nine other classrooms. So if we divide those into those nine classrooms, we would have 108 divided by 9. And I know that I can't do 9 times anything to get into that 100s, but 9 times 1 is 9. And when I subtract, I have 1 left, and my 8 falls down. 9 times 2 is 18, so he found 12 pencils in each of those other nine classrooms. And I can check that work by doing 12 times 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 1 is 9. And one more is 10. There's my 108. Plus 18. 8 plus 8 is 16. 1 plus 1 is 2. And I get that 126. So I know that he found 12 pencils in each of those nine classrooms. Okay, if we look at number two, Mr. Granger walked by the cafeteria after lunch. He saw that the chairs around the nine tables had been moved. He saw 12 chairs at each of five tables, five chairs at each of three tables, and six chairs at one table. He moved the chairs so that each table had the same number. How many chairs did he put at each table? So first of all, we have to figure out how many tables and how many chairs. Okay. So um, we know that there's nine tables it says that. He said he saw the chairs around the nine tables had been moved. He saw 12 chairs at each of five tables. So we knew we had five groups of 12. And we'll put that in the parentheses to save that later. He saw five chairs at each of three tables. So we had three groups of five. He saw six chairs at one table. So we had one group of six. 
So I'm going to figure out how much all of those equal, and then I'll add those together to find out how many chairs there are. So I know 1 times 6 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. And 5 times 12, well, I know 5 times 10 is 50. And 5 times 2 is 10. So 50 and 10 is 60. You can also just know that from your math facts, too. And then I add those together, right? Because all the chairs from these tables and all the chairs from these tables and all the chairs from these tables. So if I add 5 and 6, I have 11. And 6, 7, 8. So there's 81 chairs. And if I take those chairs and divide them equally among the nine tables, I have 81 divided by nine. And with my math facts, I know nine times nine is 81. So there were nine chairs at each table. And when I listed these the way my chairs were written, I did it um, this way because I knew I was gonna have to add. If I wanted to write it as an equation, I would have it side by side. 5 times 12 plus 3 times 5 plus 1 times 6 equals how many chairs? Okay? All right, let's look at number three. Every year, students enter artwork in, in the state competition. This year, there were 137 winners. Of these, 25 came from private and home schools. The rest were from eight school districts. Each district had the same number of winners. The winners from our school district came from seven schools, including ours. All of our schools had the same number of winners. How many students from our school were winners? Wow, there's a lot of problems here. So we know there's a total of 137 winners, right? Okay. 25 were from home schools or private schools. So we need to figure out how many were from the public schools. So if I take away that 25, this is my total, right? And this is my private and home, okay? So seven minus five is two, three minus two is one, and then my one. So I have 112 students that won from public school, okay? So I'm just going to start at the beginning. The rest were from eight school districts, and each district had the same number of winners. So if there was 112 winners and they were from eight different districts, eight times how many kids in each district equals 112. Or I know it's division. 112 divided by eight. So I know I can't do eight times anything for one. But 8 times 1 is 8, and when I subtract, 8, 9, 10, 11, so I have 3 left over here, and then that 2 falls down, and I know 8 times 4 is 32, okay? So I know that 14 students... from each district, okay? 14 students from each district. And I'm gonna go right back to my story problem now too. So I said the rest were from eight school districts. Each district had the same amount of winners. We know that was 14. The winners from our school district came from seven schools, including ours. So there's a total of seven schools. All the schools had the same number of winners. How many students from our school were winners? Well, if there's seven schools times how many winners per school equals 14. And then I could also do it 14 divided by 7 equals what? 7 times 2 is 14. So 7 times 2 so how many winners did our school have? Two. Okay, so the answer to number three is two. And just again, start at the top and just keep reading down. And then one more, number four. There are 346 students in the school. 
In the morning, many students go to special classes. 21 to music, 16 to technology, 24 to gym, 19 to art, and 10 to Spanish. The rest stay in regular classes. Eight regular classes has, have 27 students. The rest of the regular classes have only eight students. How many total teachers are in the school? So we have to figure out how many other classes there are. Wow. Okay. So we are going to take our total of 346 students. Okay. That's our student total. Okay. And we know that we can take out all the special classes that kids go to. So there's 21 to music, 16 to tech, 24 to gym, 19 to art, and 10 to Spanish. And let's take those kids out of our numbers that we're working on. So I know six and four is 10, 19, and one more is 20. And then I'm just gonna skip count with my twos. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know 90 kids go to special classes. So I'm gonna take that 90 out of here because that's not gonna be part of what we're doing later. So six minus zero is six. I have to borrow from my three. 14 minus nine is five. And then my two falls down. So I still have 256 students, okay? The rest stay in regular classes. Eight regular classes each have 27 students. Okay. So here, how many teachers do I have? I have one teacher, two teachers, three teachers, four teachers. There's five teachers there for the specials class. So here we have five teachers. Okay. There's eight more teachers that have 27 students each. So we have eight groups of 27. Okay, so I will do that as 27 times eight. We're gonna find out how many students those eight teachers have. So eight times seven is 56. Eight times two is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 216 kids go with these eight teachers. So we know we have five teachers here, and we have eight teachers, okay, and this one. And they took 216 students. So let's take away those 216 students. And we have 40 students left. It says the rest of the regular classes have only eight students. So if there's 40 students now, and we have to separate those into classrooms of eight, we know we're going to 40 divided by eight. So I know eight times five classes is 40 kids. So these five classes each have their own teacher. So there's five more teachers. So the question says, how many total teachers are in the school? Well, I have five teachers for the specials. I had eight teachers doing the regular classes and I have five more teachers teaching these 40 students. So it's five and eight and five. Well, five and five is 10 and eight more is 18 teachers. Okay, and I know there's a lot of steps here. So when you go through them, just go slow. Start at the top and just break it down step at a time and you'll be good to go. Okay, nice work guys. Um, try 272 on your own. Those are all math boxes, and I highly recommend for number four, drawing your big G to help you with the conversions. Okay, good luck.